Hello everyone, I am the one and only Boiler and I welcome you to this short tutorial where I will show you how you update your BIOS on an ASUS motherboard. Now when should you update your BIOS? You should always update your BIOS when you are buying a new motherboard, basically whenever you build a new PC. Uh, because the motherboard you are uh, buying uh, probably has been manufactured a few months before you bought it. Uh, as you can see in this example right here, uh, my motherboard has been manufactured on the 6th of uh, January 2021 and I have installed that in my system on the uh, 2nd of May 2021. So this is almost uh, four entire months since it has been manufactured. And in all that time the uh, BIOS that is running on it has probably been updated uh, several times. Now, the BIOS is a very important piece of software on your computer. It's basically the operating system for your hardware. So the BIOS is what runs all your hardware. It's where you can do overclocking, it's where you can uh, make settings for your hardware. And if that doesn't work properly, um, your system will not boot, it will uh, have stability issues, it will not run at full efficiency or performance, so it will have all kinds of problems. So we really want to make sure uh, to have the latest BIOS running because that will ensure uh, the, more, the best stability and efficiency um, uh, of your system. So we really want to make sure you have the latest BIOS and it's a really easy thing to do especially when you are building a new computer anyway. Uh, it's, uh, well, it, it, it's done in 10 minutes so it's really fast, it's really easy to do uh, and it's something you should always do when building a new system just to make sure uh, you have running everything at the newest version. Um, obviously you can also do this when you are already using a system and you should uh, do it from time to time. Uh, just check on uh, the new updates that have come out for your BIOS and update it every now and then. As I told you it's a, it's a fast process, uh, it's not something that takes a lot of time and it can really help with getting the uh, most out of your system. So we should do that probably once a year I would say, uh, even if you have a system that's already running. But anyway, so uh, I will show you how it is done and I will show you um, the version with uh, putting it on a USB stick and running it from there. You can these days as far as I know, even run it through Windows, but um, this is the this is the variant I would say is the safest, and it there, there is not much that can go wrong here. So I, I would really recommend uh, going the route through the U USB stick, and it's really not a difficult process as I will show you. Now uh, we are here in the uh, main screen of the BIOS. Uh, you get here if you have a new system without an operating system on it you will get here automatically because the system can't show you anything else so it will take you to the BIOS and um, if you have a system with an operating system already running on it uh, you will need to uh, mash your delete key on your keyboard while booting the system to get here. So these are the two ways. If it's a new system you will automatically land here. Uh, if it's a, a system with an OS already installed you will need to uh, mash the delete button uh, on your keyboard while booting to get here. So once we are here we can check our BIOS version so 0232 uh, for this one and we can also check the uh, Intel ME firmware version which is 15.020.14.66 for this port right here. So these are the two things we need to uh, have a look at. So we go to the manufacturer's website and I uh, apologize that this is the German website the uh, problem is I switched this to English and then my port wasn't here. So uh, the uh, C590F doesn't seem to exist on the English website. Why? Why I don't know, but it's the way it is. So we are on the German website, I apologize for that. Um, so if you are on your product page, you will need to look for support. And on support you will have uh, several tabs here and you will need to look for the one that is called drivers and utilities or drivers and tools. Now obviously we are on the German version here which is a driver and hills program but you will need for to look for drivers and tools or drivers and utilities in uh, English. So we'll click on that then we have another two tabs to choose from. We have driver and tools and BIOS and fir uh, firmware and uh, obviously we want BIOS and firmware. So let's have a look at what we have here. So we have our BIOS that we are looking for and you can actually see it's a newer one. Uh, it's 0708 uh, compared to our uh, 0232. 
And then we have the Intel ME firmware, which is also a new, newer variant. Uh, we have 15.021.15.49, which is also newer than the one we have on our board here. So these are the two things we want to get. Now the difference here is this we will do through a USB stick. Uh, and this will be done through Windows because this comes with an installer and we can actually just run that through Windows. So uh, let's update our BIOS. Just download it and then you can just click on it and it will open or alternatively you can just go to your download folder and click on it there and it will open and show you the contents as well. Um, now this is a zip folder as you can see um, so we need to extract that and what I like to do is I have a temp folder in my documents uh, folder so I will just take whatever I want to extract and uh, smash it in there because uh, I can then delete that once I'm done with it. So what I need here are these two things. I have the uh, BIOS renamer that is in here as you can see and of course the uh, uh, BIOS itself. Now what is this BIOS renamer? Let's have a look here on the website. Uh, it tells you that before running the uh, USB BIOS flashback tool please rename the BIOS file sc590f.cap using BIOS renamer which is exactly this little thing here. Uh, why do I make it so complicated? I don't know. I mean, why can't this be the right name when you download it? I don't know. But they want you to rename that yourself using this little program. So we'll double click on that and it will run and uh, you can press any key to get rid of it and it will have renamed your file. Simple as that. Next step will be putting that on a USB drive. Uh, now I ha don't have a USB drive on my computer right now, but uh, I can show you this with any drive. It doesn't really matter. Uh, so I can put it on my SSD drive. Uh, the process is the same. Now obviously I cannot update from the SSD drive, but I have already run the update. So I will not do that step today. So I'll just show you how to get it on your USB stick. It's pretty easy. Grab it move it over your USB stick and then just drop it and then when you go on there you see it's now here on your USB stick just ignore that this is actually an SSD so um, yeah uh, the important thing here is don't drop it into any folder just don't because the BIOS will not find this file if it's in a folder it will only find it if it's directly on your USB stick without any uh, folder on top of it. So really just put it uh, in here and not inside any folder. Um, I would also recommend not having anything else on your USB stick for this update. It doesn't really matter technically. Um, your BIOS will only read this file here. It will not uh, mess with your other stuff. But I, I just it, it's just a, another level of security I like to have. Just when I do stuff like that, I like to use an empty drive. So if you have an empty USB drive at hand, use that. If you don't, well, it should work as well with a USB drive that has already stuff on there. Now, obviously, I will not run this update, so I will just get rid of that again. But um, you have seen how that works. Now, this we will do through Windows, so we'll do that in a second step. Uh, so let's go back to uh, our pictures here. So once you have your USB stick ready, uh, you plug it into your computer where you want to do your update. Now, obviously, if you want to do your update on the computer where you downloaded it, uh, you can just leave your USB stick and uh, go on with the update. Uh, anyways, your USB stick needs to be connected to your device and you need uh, then to reboot your uh, system to go into the uh, USB uh, the BIOS uh, main screen here. Once you are here, you go to Tool select that then you go to asus ec flash 3 utility and select that uh, then you will be taken to this screen where you have uh, all your storage drives on the uh, left side now with a new build like the one i'm having here uh, you will only see your usb device because your hard uh, your uh, your uh, storage devices don't uh, have been um, formatted yet so uh, it cannot read anything from them and there's nothing on them as well so it will usually only detect your usb drive here to read something from uh, if you have a system that's already been running for a while if you have windows on there obviously you should see uh, more uh, storage devices here and you just to make sure have to make sure you select the right one 
which can be done by looking on the right side and looking for this file here that you have just renamed. It will be called whatever the name of your motherboard is. So this is just for my motherboard here. Uh, your motherboard might have a different name, so it will have a different name here as well. So you just need to know what it is called. Huh? So uh, once you have found your storage device and your file, you click on the file and uh, once you do that, you will be asked if you really want to read this file because, well, if you do, uh, this will uh, basically override your old BIOS, so we will lose all the settings you made there. And yeah, um, it, it wants to make sure that you really want to do that. But well, after downloading the BIOS, putting it on a USB drive and going through all the hassle, you probably yeah want to go ahead with the update. So uh, we'll select yes. And then it will update your BIOS and uh, you will just uh, have to let it do that. It will take a, a, a little while and um, yeah, then it will reboot and your BIOS will be updated. And you can then just check uh, if the version number has changed uh, right here on the first screen. Uh, you check this number and see if it is the new number that you downloaded. So um, that's that for the uh, BIOS. Now very quickly about the Intel ME. Uh, firmware, uh, you just download that, then you go to the uh, download folder, uh, and then again, uh, where do I have it? Um, I will need to get to my temp folder, which is here, so I'll get rid of these, and then I just extract the whole folder right into my temp folder, so as you can see, if you go here, it's a zip folder and inside the zip, zip folder is the actual folder for the uh, tool and if you go into that folder after having extracted it you see all the uh, stuff that belongs to it and what you need to do is you need to run the me update tool uh, just double click on that i will not do that because i already run it um, so i will not do that again but you just need to double click on that and then it will run like a normal installer and it will update your ME firmware and again it's just the same as with the BIOS once you have done that it's a good idea to go back into your BIOS main screen uh, with running this because you through the, do this through Windows you will need to restart your system and uh, mash the delete key to uh, get into your BIOS uh, but then again go there and check your new uh, ME FW uh, version uh, and see if that has updated just to make sure that everything went all right so that's basically it uh, that's how you update the uh, bios and firmware on your bio on your uh, motherboard and yeah just to make sure that everything is uh, running smoothly and uh, at the latest software version um yeah that's it uh, i hope you found this uh, helpful if you did please leave a like below and uh, be back if, you, if I have more content like this in the future. And yeah, I hope I see you then. Until then, have a good time. Um, be well, uh, be safe, be healthy. And yeah, bye.